hey guys, do you think that I can make Caporella work? Well, the conception is that we they do all this fancy type of footwork and all the flips. So today, I have Professor Ricky right here. He's gonna be showing me how to adapt those movements and use them correctly for self-defense. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So how do you apply all those movement into self-defense? I guess that's probably one of the, the biggest questions. Like, can you apply them and can you use them for street? Yes, it's possible with proper training. Mm -hmm. In capoeira, similar to other martial arts, where, for example, in escrima, you learn first with hands, uh, with weapons, mm -hmm. and then you go into empty hands. Okay. With capoeira, you learn how to fight by playing first, similar to young lion cubs that like wrestle with each other, but mm -hmm. they're also using those same techniques to hold their prey once they get older and can hunt by themselves. So with capoeira, we learn how to attack and defend mm -hmm. to a rhythm, and then later on adapt those same movements for self-defense. Makes sense. So uh, what do you guys, so, and I, you know, if you guys watched the previous video, we talked about there is like the jenga, the footwork, the, the basic palm strike, the kicks and such. How do you make them effectively you know, for self-defense purposes? Uh, it all depends on the application and also the element of surprise, how much time you have to actually like prepare. But realistically speaking, you wouldn't in a self-defense situation if someone is squaring up with you like this and all of a sudden I'm going to start breaking into a jingle that has no, <laughs> no efficiency. Now if it's just like, there's uh, attributes that you gain of just like lightness on your feet and mm -hmm. also because okay. of the switching of the stances, it forces you to switch leads constantly. So if you f happen to find yourself with your, you know, this lead for your left or happen here, mm -hmm. you're still comfortable because when you jinga, then you have the, you're constantly switching your leads all the time. Mm -hmm. So you jinga when you're playing capoeira, not so much when you're using it as a self defense. So in a self defense situation, you actually don't use the the jinga itself. Not the jinga step. Not a step, but yes. the elements of you still come yes, out the fly to it. The would attributes. you would you show me some like examples of how you would do like your striking or elements of like surprise for um, uh, self defense purposes? Sure. So for example, if I'm just in a uh, we call this guarda media, which is like our middle guard. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it seems just like you're on, on guard stance. So all this kicks that you have in other martial arts you have here, this is base home, which you call the teeth. You have martello, which is your round kick. Okay. You have that. <laughs> you have your queixada, which is this here, mm -hmm. boom. You have your spinning back kicks here, boom. So a lot of the standing kicks are similar to what you've already seen in martial arts with the exception of the mea lua jicompasso, the half moon kick of the compass, and that's this one here. There. That's actually my favorite technique. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that's awesome. And then there's a lot of kicks that are from the, the ground, mm -hmm. you know, so for example here, from this position here, and then mm -hmm. there. And then you can put that into a combination, let's say that the person maybe moves back, or if they duck under, you, from here, so you put them in terms of combinations. Yes. And back and forth. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how would you practically, like, practically like practice in a self defense situation? Do you like set up like scenarios or striking patterns? How does how does it apply differently from the play versus like the elements of like the street? Well, we can first pick a technique mm. and its application, and then I can show you how it would be applied in a game or a jogu. Okay. When you're playing capoeira, where you have the hoda or the circle mm -hmm. with all of the instruments and everyone clapping and singing, and it's more ritualistic, mm -hmm. and then the self-defense aspect. Specific. Okay, so let's set up a, a few scenarios. Okay, I think the most commonly thing that, that, that people tend to do is defend against a punch. Okay. Right. We'll just talk about the basic one, right and cross. Right. Okay. So um, there's a movement called Vinga Chiva. Vinga Chiva. Vinga Chiva. And I want to use more of the movements that are kind of more uniquely capoeira. Mm -hmm. Rather than just, oh, okay, I've seen that in this one and this one. But that one is like a little bit different, has a little bit more spice on it. So Vinga Chiva, which means vengeful. Okay. okay. So you can go into it uh, two ways. So for example, if you're doing your right cross, right? I can go here and escape. And then as you're recovering from that, then I step in. Oh, nice. From here. Okay. Or if get a little bit lower as that's coming boom and then immediately oh, nice. right here so this is much harder for you to return and then just from here i'm just going to go slow yep boom. Okay. Nice. And then, boom. 
And then as you're, as you're falling, I'm getting away. Wow. Yeah. So you're basically timing off this, but then you're stepping through. Yes. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And this movement, Vinga Chiba, mm -hmm. comes from another African art called Batuki. Batuki. So Batuki and also Capoeira were outlawed. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, Batuki is no longer in use. But Master Ibimba, who is my teacher's father, took certain elements and movements of Batuki and added it into his Capoeira. So it was oh. almost like a Jeet Kune Do of, That's cool. of Capoeira. So his father was a champion of Batuki. Wow. And Batuki is a lot of the takedowns where the goal is for the person to knock them over. So what's the purpose of takedown in, in the arts? Um, it, it's, it's a part of the dialogue mm. of the art. You know, just like trapping or uh, striking in Wing Chun. I mean, just uh, using that because we're here in the famous Francis Wong <laughs> Academy. Okay. Um, uh -huh. So it's just a part of the dialogue. It's part of the mm. curriculum. Um, if you have any attacks, there's always going to be counterattacks. There's always going to be esquivas which we call escapes because Escape, it's not yeah. so much blocking uh -huh. in capoeira because also if you think of if I'm the bigger stronger opponent mm -hmm. you're able to counter me if you completely move out of the way mm -hmm. rather than trying to block and absorb my force and then try to counter that you know yeah what I mean? is it fair to say that the goldas will be like either take it down or strike it to a certain point that I can safely escape from the scenario yeah and you're talking okay. about self-defense yes the yeah. thing is to get out of the situation as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. not for to prolong it, not to show who's like has the stronger art form. It's okay. use the element of the surprise. So if we're uh -huh. here uh -huh. and then like, okay, hold on for that, and then you like, boom, and then oh, you, nice. exactly. you know, you just point or <laughs> tie your shoes, <laughs> boom, and then. You, can you break that down slowly so we can check? Actually, this yeah. is an angle real quick so you guys okay. can see this. So let's say as I throw that right cross, right. if I move this way, boom. So you're basically paring this out. Yeah, so I can, I can either parry, okay? uh -huh. so this is called palma, boom. And then from here, I'm gonna swing my back leg around, getting low, uh -huh. so. Oh, uh -huh. even though I'm yeah. flat, my body's already in position for you to do a takedown. Right, so from here, I'm going to shift my weight this way, to get you off balance, and do I do a slight turn, boom. and then nice. there. So also, because you fall really well, also, this spin that I am doing, because some people have seen, you know, this being achieved before, and like, oh, why is the person spinning? You're spinning in case the person grabs you. Ah. So okay. if you're, if we just happen to like, let's say you did like a jab, uh -huh. and I go on the inside, but again, notice that I'm going in like this, like mm -hmm. really protected from, this one is for any knees, yeah. this one is for the arm or the elbow. Just in case that my body comes in. So, boom. as I go here, uh -huh. boom, and you're holding on to me. This way, oh, nice. and that automatically just releases your grip. That's crazy. So if you're here, right? If I'm like this and I'm leaning this way, you uh -huh. settle your base, and now uh -huh. turn this way. See how? Ah, oh, so you're releasing against the grip. Basically. Exactly. As soon as they grab here, once you turn, then that's a similar concept in wrestling. We're gonna do a necktie. Mm -hmm. We spin this yeah. way mm -hmm. to get out from the grip. Exactly. That's very cool. I can see yeah. the, uh, the similarity. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I, what if I decided to tackle? Because mm -hmm. that's another good one too. Like for so defense, I'm gonna tackle you like this. Right. So I naturally, as you see, like I settle my base. Yeah. Now from here, uh -huh. then I want to go lower than lower than you. So like let's say like you you went into tackle, you couldn't get it, and you kind of like return to your so here. Oh, nice. So again, that movement that I was talking about, negachiba, uh -huh. that we use to catch ourselves, uh -huh. you also use it as a takedown. Okay. So from here, all I'm going to do is just push my knees slightly this way. Nice. There. And then from here, boom. Then I'm up. Uh -huh. I can choose to either do something or mainly get out. And I kind of want to highlight that in Capoeira is to get out of the situation, not mm -hmm. to go up here and then mount and then get onto the. Do you, do you mind show the way that you get down and get up, just like kind of? Yes. Yeah. So, again, we can do just from the stance or from the jinga. So as I'm doing my switch here, I'm going to turn my body because uh -huh. as a kick is coming here, uh -huh. by turning, I make that window smaller. Narrow my back, body. Yeah, exactly. The back leg is going to come to the front, and my hands are going to go here. Boom. Nice. So you're really low to the ground. Yes. Okay. And then also with this leg, if I'm hooking, I can go here and pull. It. As I'm standing up. Or many options here, then uh -huh. nice as well. That's really cool. So in slow motion, mm -hmm. if I was tackling this way, 
And as soon as I come back up, that's yeah. when you set the negative yeah. space. Then I'm gonna go completely go all the way down. Nice. And, and for the demonstration, I kind of just use my five. But as I'm going here, I'm gonna turn my whole body. Oh my And then see how I pull the leg out and I have some distance. Yeah. So just in case you're getting up here, pull. As soon as I try to get up, that's how you do the kick. Yeah. So that was how you apply that spinning kick. Yes. Okay. Not um not directly here. Uh-huh. But you can do in some combinations of like getting the person to block, boom, and then, and then here. I like to use it as a, and I am not a professional fighter, uh -huh. but I like to use it when I'm in the most vulnerable position. So if you're in your stance and I may be up here, uh -huh. and as you go like for that round house right here. Oh, boom, nice. There. Now, again, we train for that in Capoeira. Let's say that maybe you're just doing a spinning kick. So I'm gonna do my round house. And as I'm doing it, you're gonna spin with that back leg. So here, as I go, boom. Oh, nice. So you just back it up. Drop down into high. Undo the movement. Uh -huh. That's a big thing with cup weight is like, here. Oh, wow. Trying to see what you do. Then from there, uh -huh. I could follow up with a, you know, with a kick as well. Similar, similar to Sanchai with the... Uh, the cup well. kick? Yeah, the okay. thing is that we, okay. I mean, he has to do it in a certain way because he has on boxing gloves. Yes. And with here, any time, it could be a punch combination, even like maybe you, you I grab here uh -huh. and push you off to the side. Man. Oh, nice. Oh. There. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So they can be used as long as their head level is below a certain point. Mm -hmm. And okay. But with this movement, the au is a cartwheel. Right here. Uh -huh. The au bachidu, which is a hitting. The bachi means to hit. Uh -huh. So this is a hitting cartwheel. This one I wouldn't suggest doing like in so much of a self-defense. Mm -hmm. And sport, just use Sanchai as your example. <laughs> because again, he like he like trains it. But in yeah. in um in Capoeira, as you're playing, you tend to see this movement a lot. Okay. Yeah. So you already seen some combinations from so if you're doing like a the jab, uh -huh. then I can go here to the outside uh -huh. and then boom, stepping in, oh, very nice. close, boom, boom. boom. And then the same thing if you're, uh, let's see, if you just happen to do like a front uh, hook. Front hook? Yeah. Here it's really easy to go from the top. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, from the rear straight, again, boom, and then here. Boom. It's yeah. It's harder for you to catch yourself. That's, that's a really hard cut hard because my body is basically mm -hmm. twisted like this. Yes. I feel when I fall, my head's gonna go straight <laughs> to the ground first. And that's the idea is you want to get the person to rotate so their legs go up here and then their head goes down there. And I'm uh -huh. going in, if you can switch uh, stances yeah. so you can see. I'm going in uh -huh. here, this arm is going to kind of lock your upper body in place. Mm -hmm. This hand is to protect from the knee. Mm -hmm. So as I go, just in case, so even if you do that knee, that makes it yeah. even easier for me because now, so you're vulnerable. Only, now you're only on one leg. You know? oh. So your hand's always protected yes. as you're coming in. Mm -hmm. You don't just kind of like dive in without protection. Basically. Exactly, never, <laughs> never do that. But also uh, a good thing, is to see how capoeiristas, practitioners of capoeira, catch themselves when they receive the, that same thing. So uh -huh. if you're coming in for the sale of Ming Chiba here, I'm uh -huh. going to do what's called hole, which is a roll, boom. And then now from here, we're at the same distance. Oh. I go boom, or follow back with something. So well. you basically just kind of let your body flap on the drop. Yes, you, you become like an empty shirt. Empty shirt. Can you do it one more time? Yeah. So, so as I come in this way, you just drop, oh nice. And I felt, can I use my leg as a guide? Yes. The better your base, uh -huh. then I can use your leg to help me get out. Uh -huh. But if you're, if you're in your stance, and uh -huh. you kind of, because sometimes when people train this movement, they kind of step, and then this leg is like way out here. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have to do anything because this isn't really yeah. exactly, you can just right step up. Yeah. But from here, boom, oh, now you can use that, and then boom, right there. That's cool. Yeah. So then another one, since you did that so well, uh, let's switch stances. Uh -huh. So as I'm going in, you're gonna do that hole, uh -huh. and then freeze when I tell you to. Freeze, okay. Yeah. So as we're going here, nice and easy, boom, and then stop. So now from here, stick oh. this leg right there, and then grab, and then boom. Now from here, that's how I catch myself and stand up. That's cool. So yeah, my leg is vulnerable for that takedown, but uh -huh. rather than me going here, oh, okay, now. I you go ahead, I use my neck achievement. That's cool. And then I'm right there. For that changed the game, that how I thought about stuff too, because 
a lot of times in jujitsu, we just like you know just break fall so that way you can recover to position immediately. Mm -hmm. But yeah. because it's, it's a striking based art, you don't want your body to completely fall down to the ground, right? Because then you, you go into the grappling mode. Yes, that makes sense. And if we're t thinking about grappling again on the hard cobblestones, it's hot street in the Brazil, you know, <laughs> so there are elements of um, a mobilization, but those movements uh -huh. are specifically outside of the circle of capoeira, specifically for self-defense, something separate from your general class, mm -hmm. which not a lot of people see. Wow. Any other takedown that you can show us that will also be effective for, for self-defense? Um, so I can show you a counter for the, the Vingachiva. Okay. So like you're, how are you, you're coming in, okay, here. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's cool. cool. <laughs> it's almost right. like a, we call it a beset in uh, C lot. Okay. It's like an inside leg sweep, mm -hmm. right? So it's that moment I come in right here mm -hmm. and I feel you just here. grab my neck. Nice. Yeah, so this is to control you, obviously. Now, even from here, you're able to catch uh -huh. yourself. So then I could drop here. Oh. Like you could break your arm. Right. Let's do it one more time slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like coming forward mm -hmm. this way. So again, I'm protecting because I don't uh -huh. know if you're going like for an elbow or, or what. Uh -huh. So as I go, I lift, boom. Uh -huh. Now from here, I can drop and immediately just go to the arm if I want to be a little bit more vicious, uh -huh. boom, oh. over the neck and yeah. So the potential is an arm bar, right. arm break right there. Mm -hmm. exactly. So now I, I sort of want to know like the elements of surprise, right? And then I think that you can surprise a lot of people when you're striking out of the, the most unexpected position. Yes. Such as your body is on the ground. Because if we were just standing toe to toe like this, right. we can kind of expect strike, elbows, knees, and kicks. But when you're on the ground, I think people are less expecting you to strike from that position. Yeah. So can you show me some of the striking or kicking from the ground that can surprise the opponent? Definitely. Okay, so this movement is uh, it's gonna be a level. Okay. This movement is called Chapeau Jikoro, Chapeau Jikoro, which means uh, leather hat. Okay. 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 So, I don't. The the legend goes that either this movement because there were capoeira gangs, uh -huh. not like those type of gangs, but <laughs> capoeira when it was outlawed, there were different street gangs mm -hmm. um, that was again using capoeira as you know a fight in that time. Okay. So. Either this movement, you're able to kick the hat off the other person, oh. or you kick the person so hard that their hat spins in the air, whichever one, I'm not sure. Okay. So, from this position here, there is this swing, and then from there. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Now, if you um, stand with one leg in front, okay. this swing that you do is can be first an attack on the leg. Yeah. Oh. To either get them like off balance or even if they yeah. lift the leg up, then from here. That's yeah. cool. So it's almost a fake. Mm -hmm. It can be a fake. Yes, it can be. That's cool. So you could create a space to start the second attack. Exactly. Can you show that one more time? Sure. So first yeah. shot is to go down. Yeah, I'm stepping, swinging the leg here, mm -hmm. boom, and then. Yeah. That's cool. So it looks almost like a, a snake. So from here, boom. So when you come up, you come up protected in case you need to boom or whichever. So, are you, so in, in other words, I just thought about this too. Yes. If you miss a kick for any reason, <laughs> right in the back, you can tend to go into uh, Vinga Chiva. Yes. From there. You can go into Vinga Chiva. So, here, boom. If you happen to evade yeah. back, boom. So from here, boom. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's, um, Let's say that maybe you lean back and then oh, out of the way. Uh -huh. Let's say that with that front leg, you went to an inside kick with that martel. Here. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you use that. Well. Wow. So you can counter off my leg kick as well. Exactly. With the, with the, again, with the Vinga Chiva, it's That's with proper uh, application. Uh -huh. You can, again, go with hands. You can go with the knees. You can go with the, the grab mm -hmm. as well. So if um, you're doing the rear leg kick here, boom, as I'm nice. here, or because you're used to maybe spinning all the way around, boom, oh. as you come, because I know that you, when you spin, you generally... Yeah, because you know, it's leg. Yeah. So if, if that happens, boom, as it comes. Oh, nice. So as you're 
coming around with that need to protect, uh -huh. I just come in and it's a little bit modified because uh -huh. I'm hooking now, but it's boom. Yeah. That's cool. As well. But again, the hands, because a lot of people are like, oh, I would just do a knee. That's why you come in protected. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you have any, anything to add to the audience that you would like to share with them today? Yes. I would just say, salve galera. Eu sou o professor Malandro. Eu sou educador de capoeira, which just means, hey, what's up, everyone? I'm teacher Malandro, and I'm an educator of capoeira. Sounds great. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, I'm going to leave this information in the description box below. And I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys next week.